This is Bishop Elvin B. Thompson with another episode of Keep the Fire Burning Podcast. So sit back and relax as we stir up the guilt that is in you. What's my advice for you this week? Start preparing and stop reacting. Yeah, that's it. Start preparing and stop reacting. You see, if you stay prepared, then you won't have to get caught by surprise and have to react. See, I'm not worried about what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen next week, what's going to happen next year. I just want to make sure that whatever happens, I'm ready for it. And so I'm always preparing. I'm preparing so I don't have to be constantly reacting. In fact, the Bible says in 1 Peter 3 and 15, but sanctify the Lord God in your heart and be ready. Uh, Always to give an answer of the reason why you hope the way you hope. In other words, the Bible says that I need to always be ready to give an answer of why I'm not worried, or why I'm not full of anxiety, of why when others are, amen, afraid and fearful and then they're running around and it seems like the sky is always falling, why is it that, Bishop, you don't act like that? It's because I'm prepared. I'm prepared for whatever comes my way. I don't care if it's something financial. I want to make sure I've got enough money in the bank so that that issue doesn't become a crisis. I want to make sure that I've got insurance so in case I get sick and have to go into the doctor's office or go to the hospital, I don't have to worry about that bill because I'm ready. I want to make sure that my soul is ready so that whenever God calls me home, I don't have to worry about trying to get ready. I'm already ready. In fact, in Matthew 24, verse 43, you'll find these words, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken into. Therefore, be ye also ready. For in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man cometh. Matthew tells us that Jesus Christ is going to return for his church one day. And when he comes, he's coming in an hour that you don't think of. It's in an hour that you're not going to expect. In other words, he's telling you that he's going to come. And when he comes, he's coming at a time that you are not going to have time to get ready. You're going to have to always be ready. Matthew tells us, ladies and gentlemen, that yes, Jesus Christ is going to return. He's going to return. And although we have signs to let us know when that return is going to be, you won't know because he's coming as a thief in the night. So he's now telling us and warning us that you need to make sure that you're preparing right now so that whenever it comes, you are prepared and you don't have to try to react. Why? Because preparing is always better than reacting. How do we prepare, Bishop? Well, 1 Corinthians 16 and 13 tells us this. Be on your guard. That's right. The first thing you've got to do in order to be prepared is to make sure that you're always on your guard. You're always ready. You're always you're always prepared. You're always looking. You're always hoping. You're making sure that your soul is in order. Your life is in order. Your finances is in order. Your business is in order. He says, be on your guard. Then he says, stand firm in the faith. Don't be moved now. Don't let the devil trick you and you move because the, the, you don't know when that day is going to come. He's coming like a thief in the night. If you let the devil move you, you may not have time to get back in place. Stay ready. Be courageous. Be strong. Be courageous enough to stand for your conviction. Be courageous and strong enough to stand for your principles. Be courageous and strong enough to stand for your values. Don't let anyone sell you any wooden nickels. I guess what I'm saying uh, in a nutshell to wrap this up and get out of your way for this week's podcast is this. Stay ready and you don't have to get ready. That's what I'm telling you. Stay ready. Be ye therefore ready. Preparing is always better than reacting. This is Bishop Elvin B. Thompson coming at you with another episode of Keep the Fire Burning. So until next time, stay lit.